Yo, hello, it's Sovikas from Editing Visuals here, and today I will show you how to make the ghost color correction. If you want to enhance your editing skills, then make sure to check out Revy's Editing Visuals website and watch other tutorials on the channel. Also, if you want to support me, then my channel will be linked in the description. Let's begin. First, you need to have your clips synced. Now, we need to add an adjustment layer, so press Ctrl Alt Y. The first effect we want to add is four color gradient. Here, we need to make the colors to dark purple, so this is the hashtag that I will be using. Copy this hashtag and then paste it all over here. Now we need to set the blending mode to color and blend set it to 51% Now let's add deep glow. Here make the deep glow 0.55, add as invert, offset darks minus 1.8. This is kind of similar to the ghost transition tutorial I've already made so you can check that one out as well. Add color balance. This is an effect that's used in a lot of color corrections. I want to make my color correction more purple and blue so I'm going to make the red balance around like minus 6. Just make it lower than zero. And also the green, I'll make it lower than zero. So minus five, shadow blue balance, I'll make it like four. These are kind of just random. You can just test them out. You can see that all of the blue settings are higher than zero and all of the other settings are lower than zero. Now let's add curves. This is also very common in color correction. So put two dots around like here and make one of the dots just go a little down. And then make this dot go up like here. Add as diffuse. Make the diffuse amount 22. Rel amount X make it 0 0.2 and rel amount Y make it 0 0.08. Now we want to go on the adjustment layer press on it and press e here go to s diffuse and go to composite options and make the effect opacity 22 percent now let's add s edge detect make the edge smooth one and affect mono edges and this is also very important when you're in effects right here uh, go to s edge detect go to compositing options and make it to 10 percent so a very small effect. You can just get out of there. Add looks. You don't need to add this effect if you don't really care too much about the color correction, but if you just care about the ghost thing, press edit, go to mate, add color filter, press two times on the R and make it 0 0.976. Let's go to lens, add edge softness, make the blur size 0 0.5, quality up it to 10, add less distortion, make distortion minus 5 and keep it like that, add haze flare, make this village 25%, softness 100%. Now let's go to camera and here add LUT, go to LUT here and add subtitle, go to post and add colorista. Uh, these settings will definitely be different for you, so on the shadows, point this one down to blue out here and highlights move it a little bit up to purple take this and just put a little out of there these ones just keep it make the yellow go right in a little bit here and the green one just go a little bit in here add renoiser make the sharpen 25 percent grain amount 24.5 percent a highlight make it 149.6 add pop this will boost up your quality but you don't want to overdo the pop i recommend somewhere between 10 and 30 percent so i'm going to choose 18.6 7 add hsl colors here you can copy my settings i know this is a lot to copy but after you've done it we will save the animation preset later in the video and you won't have to do it ever again exit out of looks you can add s flicker make the amplitude 0.1 add cc vignette which is also an effect that's used in a lot of color corrections make the amount 121 add sharpen make the sharpen amount birdie i made a little mistake so go back to four color gradient make it soft light we have this cool effect now we can copy and paste the layer and we can just turn one off right now and if you want to just have a cool color correction you can just go to s inward and just turn it off you also need to make the deep glow 0.23 and if you want Want to make a ghost color correction go out of this one and go out here i will rename it to ghost cc here this layer i will just rename it to cc and now go to ghost cc go below s invert going to add the ghost effect called s motion detect add it on top of deep glow and you have this ghost look if you want to preset ghost color correction then go to your ghost color correction layer and press ctrl a and it will select every effect here now you will want to go to animation and save animation preset and here here you can call it whatever you want and then if you save it go out of there effects and presets and you just type go cc boom add another go cc and here you have it the idea behind the cc is that when there are not a lot of frames playing for example here you would make like the opacity you would make like zero here but then you have no color correction so you go back to this color correction and here you would make it a hundred percent and right here you would make it like zero percent when there are a lot of frames to play because it goes fast you would make this go to a hundred and you could either turn this one down 
down to zero or if you think it looks cool you can also just keep it 100 here i'm just going to delete all of these opacities right now and i'm gonna go to the beginning make the go cc zero because as you see if you keep it as 100 and there are no frames playing before it's just gonna be dark because motion detect needs frames to make ghosts out of make the cc 100 percent zero percent here like the cc that doesn't have the ghost effect and just just go back here like while selecting this and make it here 100 sorry i forgot to say and make the opacity here zero after two frames forward you can go like three frames forward and make the go cc 100 percent so look how it interchanges first you have no go cc then you have some go cc and you have no more normal cc and then you just have the go cc i'm going to go five frames forward make the normal cc around 64 percent you can always keep the cc 100 percent it's just for this specific clip i don't know if it looks too good go nine frames forward so we'll have more frames and make the cc without ghost 100 percent and make the go cc zero percent because in the middle of the video if you watch my graph you see that it's kind of like stale it stops and there are not many frames before it go a couple more frames forward keep it 100 here just so press on that button now move two frames forward and make the go cc keep it zero still here go four frames forward at least for me here going to make the opacity zero percent now i'm gonna go to the point of transitioning make it 100 percent on the go cc but have like the normal cc zero and go three frames forward opacity zero i'm gonna go a little further right here go cc just zero gonna go a little forward i'm going to make the normal cc 100 percent go three frames or two frames forward go cc zero now we can just keep the cc 100 percent all of the time this particular clip and the other clip it will look fantastic I'm gonna go like 10 or 9 frames forward and I'll make the CC 100%. Now look how cool this looks. It has like this inverted smoke ghost. I don't even know how to call it. I'll go 3 frames forward and I'll just keep it 100 here. I'm gonna go to the next clip, like far, far in the next clip. I'm not gonna keep it at 100 here. I'll keep it like 50 here and I'll just go 6 frames forward or something and I'll make the opacity 12. I still kind of wanted to have like just a tiny bit of the ghost effect. I'll go a lot of frames forward. Maybe Make it 10 here and go to the last frame i'll make it 100 percent and when you have stopped making your ghost transition cut out the ending of your adjustment layer and just delete it we have made the ghost color correction i hope that you have learned something from this tutorial remember that color corrections vary how they look a lot based on the clip that you have so if you have a really colorful clip then these settings might not work for you and you will have to change them if you add invert and s motion detect to some other color corrections then it's possible that you will get another cool ghost color correction all right it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.